Here is the practice problem you can do. Uh, it's monitoring progress on page 285. And uh, try doing it step by step. And when you get stuck, just push play for a little bit, pause it, and try to work on a little bit some more um, to maximize your understanding and, and learning capabilities. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, it says to graph our triangle first. All right, so let's draw our, verse, our uh, axes, our y, x, and then O is at the origin. It's at zero, zero. Okay. H is M, N, meaning we went over on the X. M units, and we went up N. Does it really matter how far I go? No, it doesn't. I can go all the way up here if I wanted to make N that long. It's just a letter. So I'm going to keep it small. And J is at, I went over M, and it's on the zero, so it's zero for the for the y. And there is my triangle. Is that triangle a right triangle? Yes, it is. We got a right angle. Okay. Now it says find the length of all the sides. Of all the sides, find their lengths and the coordinates of the midpoints. So everywhere we go halfway, we need to find the coordinates of them. All right. So we've got uh, O J, we have J H, and we have H O. All right. So O J, this one right here. Uh, the length of it, it didn't go anywhere on the, on the Y, but it did on the X. It went over M times. So the length of it is M. So finding the, half, the midpoint is easy. If you went halfway, so the midpoint would be half of it. And it's still zero. Okay, because it didn't go up anywhere. JH, it... It went just straight up. It went from a zero to an N. So its length is N. The midpoint, well, it didn't move anywhere on the X axis, so it stays the same, but it did go up to the N, and we'll just go halfway. That would be the midpoint, right? Now, HO, is gonna be a little bit different. We're actually gonna to have to use, um, I'm gonna write it up higher. Let's call it OH instead. OH, uh, we need to do midpoint formula and the distance formula. So if we need to find the length of this, uh, we need to do the distance formula. So the distance, I'm gonna do it up here. If you, I hope you can see it. The distance formula, you need to memorize it. And if you don't, well, we'll put it to music to help you memorize it. I still have to teach you guys the slope formula and the point slope formula that I, song that I made. Uh, all right, our x2. Um, let's, let's use these as your x2. 2, y2, and this one is your x1, y1. Because that would be much easier, because these are zeros. So x2 is, is m minus x1, which is 0. y2 is n minus 0. m squared plus n squared. That is the length. That is what you would write. For the distance, for for the length of OH. Now we need to do the midpoint. The midpoint formula you, is another formula you should memorize, and it is 
x2 minus x1 over 2 comma y2 minus y1 over 2 comma. This is like an x, y coordinate, okay? And x2, m minus x1, which is 0. y2 is n minus y1, which is 0. And that equals m2 n over 2. That would be the midpoint. I hope you can see that. Oy, oy, oy. Can you see it? Uh, that's the midpoint. That's going 